Hello everyone, uh, Lee here. So this is a new series that I'm going to start and I'm going to call it the Handicap Battle because that's what my life seems to revolve at the minute is battling my handicap. Um, I'm currently 17 on the nose and I want to get down to single figures. That's my challenge. Will I do it this year? Uh, doubt it, but I want to see progress. I think a lot of my problem um, and some people can probably relate to it, is I watch a lot of YouTube videos and, you know, you've got great coaches like me and my golf, Rick Shields, um, plenty of others, but they all slightly tell you different things. And when you get on the golf course and you try to, you know, play golf, you've got a million and one swing thoughts in your head. So over the weekend, I made the decision that I'm just going to follow one coaching plan. So... I've joined the Me and My Golf VIP membership, I think it's called, and I've started the Break 90. Um, I break 90 already, but I want to go back to basics and start again. Um, my golf over the last six to eight weeks has been horrific. Um, I've been battling the shanks, uh, not hitting it straight, not having the confidence to hit it full power or even remotely anywhere near full power. So... I'm going to follow that plan uh, and week one is all about posture and pivoting and my posture at golf has always been, I've always been a bit crunched over um, and then I start off on the first tier, I'm like right stand up straight, do this, do that, when I get to the third I've completely forgot what I'm doing and I'm just get down, hit ball and it just goes wherever it wants so I'm going to follow this plan. Um, I'm going to take you on my journey following this plan. It's a six week plan um, and we're going to bat on my handicap. We're going to go and play and use the, the drills in the sim, go and play golf, go and practice at the, the golf course. I'm just going to really document my progress. So I suppose it's Monday morning. I better get my ass to work, really. Um, yeah, off I go. Look how cute this little man is. Look at him. Looks all sad that he's going to work, aren't you there, baby? Hmm? Gorgeous little boy, isn't you? Look at him. Look at the state of my car. Does that need a clean or what? So I've arrived at work and I'm a little bit lucky, really, with the facilities I've got. Um, so I'll be using my golf simulator to uh, do my break 90 challenge challenge program in. Uh, so let's give you a quick show around of that. So this is my golf simulator. It's a bit messy at the minute uh, because I'm also putting in a golf store. I've got a few bits in, um, but it's just been converted at the minute uh, so there's still a bit of a mess but uh, there's my PC to run the software but in essence this is what I'll be using uh, to do my challenging.
So what I did there really was um, I followed the, the balance aspect of what Piers and Andy have said. So trying to get the balance of my feet um, central rather than too much on the toes, too much on the heels. Um, if I actually think about it now, I was probably a bit of a too much on my toes, which was why I'd probably fall forward when I play my shots. Um, and then, so I got the balance right, and then I did the pivot drill. What, what it is, is I'm putting a, uh, a club across my shoulders, and I'm trying to line it up with a club that's on my just on the inside of my right foot. Uh, and that shows I'm not swaying. I don't know why I decided to do that. That just shows I'm not swaying. That shows I'm actually twisting um, rather than actually um, swaying with the with the club in my hand. Um, and then, because it's Monday, I wanted to get a baseline, so I just got a seven iron and I hit 10 shots. Um, no warm up, so the first few were duffs. Um, and then I'm gonna follow the, for the rest of the week, I'm gonna follow the program by doing five shots, going back to practicing the pivot, doing five shots with another club and going through 10 clubs. And then at the end of it, I'll do another um, baseline with the seven iron uh, and see you know what the dispersion difference is and what the the distance difference is if any um, and how I feel I'm hitting the club at the minute um, it's new so I'm um, you know it feels weird going on the back swing um, but that's all I'm focusing on at the minute is the back swing making sure I'm fully balanced and I'm pivoting correctly the strike I can live with not being perfect at the moment um, I just want to make sure I'm not swaying so let's have a quick look at the numbers and uh, yeah we'll crack on tomorrow I suppose. So first things first the dispersion um, all over the place really if I'm being perfectly honest um, there's some nice straight shots there's some push shots there's a few hook shots and a few nice draws that you know uh, I I like this the shape of but in reality uh, a little bit all over the place. Uh, as for numbers themselves let's focus on it uh, average ball speed 91 uh, but you know there's a 67 in there over the top left there's a doff um, launch angle 22 but again that's down to that 10.8 doff so you know not brilliant but the average distance um, is total 132 which for a five I, uh, seven iron is really really bad but you know you take out the 65 you take out the 104 um, let's take them out and 65 oh sorry guys I had a bit of a focus issue there um, so I'll take those two shots out and the total distance average is 145 which you know I want to be hitting 150 155 so it's a little bit down there is a 155 in there so I know I can hit that shot, um, but it just gives me something to work with. Um, so I'll work with that average. I'll take out the two doffs because um, they were complete doffs. Um, and then we'll see how we get on in a week's time. Um, so day two. Um, today we're going to follow the program down to the letter um, with respect. Well, apart from the potting aspect, because I've got no means to do that. Um, so I'm going to do my balance drill, uh, my pivot drill, and then I'm going to hit uh, five shots with ten clubs uh, in between each one. I'm going to do the pivot drill again to ensure I'm aligned up properly. Um, and we'll see what today brings. Yesterday was really poor with distance. I don't expect today will be much better, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm not really worried about that. I just want to get that transition into the backswing correct. Um, and we'll worry about the downswing at a later date. So uh, off to work again uh, into the sim and let's see what happens.
So that's the end of day two. Um, a bit disappointed if I'm honest. Um, my distances are really bad. Um, I'm presenting far too much loft at the ball and I'm getting next to no distance at all. Um, golf is the best game in the world, but it's the most frustrating game in the world as well. Um, so tomorrow I'm playing golf at my local club, Whitsam Bay. So um, I'll take a few videos of the scenery and the golf course, but I won't vlog it. Um, and then for the rest of the week, I'll just do my drills. And then on Sunday, I'll do another video and we can see what progress. Um, if you're looking at them, the backswing, my, my backswing is so flat at the top. It's almost at my back instead of above my shoulders. So it's something I need to work on. But at the minute, I'm determined to stick with pivot and balance and posture and then i'll work on the rest afterwards it's just drilling that into my head so uh, we'll see how we get on tomorrow uh, i'll take a few videos i'll show you what score i got uh, and then we'll do another video sunday so day three i woke up not very positive today uh, playing golf at whitsam bay um, i'm gonna go to the shop first and just have a quick warm-up before i go and play uh, I'm just not feeling it today. Um, I don't know why. Just yesterday's practice was so disappointing that I've just got that. What's the point in going and playing if I'm just going to play crap feeling? So we're going to practice and we'll play a game of golf and we'll see how we did afterwards. Other than that, um, yeah, better go. Play golf. So that was a few pictures of Whitsand Bay. Um, it's a gorgeous course at the minute with the sun out. You know, it's right on the coast of Cornwall. Uh, nice little links course. Uh, really lovely course, to be fair. Um, disappointingly, I scored 28 points. Um, pretty much down to getting off the tee today. Uh, my iron play was really, really good. And uh, my short game was okay. My putting was good. Just couldn't get off the tee at all. Um, but we have days like this, unfortunately. With mid-handicap golfers, that's what happens. Um, so, yeah, that's three days so far following the Me and My Golf Break 90. Um, so, if you're looking to do it, I highly recommend it. There is a small uh, subscription fee. But the videos Piers and Andy put up are phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, and it's I think it's good to stick to one coaching plan rather than watching videos like that me and my golf do or Vic Shields does or Peter Peters does James Robinson does you watch them all and they're all the same and don't get me wrong they're all amazing coaches within their own right but you can get a little bit confused so yeah I'm I'm glad I did what I did um so that's the end of this video I'll do another one on Sunday uh I'll do a quick update make sure you know I, I show you how that week's progressed I'm not just going to keep videoing me in the simulator for the rest of the week doing the drills uh and we'll do the seven iron ten shots and see the difference between last sunday or monday and this sunday and see if there's been any improvement but that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching uh, i hope you've enjoyed watching it and seeing me on this new series this journey of the handicap battle to try and get me down to single figures and uh if you do like it please give us a thumbs up please comment below you know what's your handicap how are you trying to progress how are you trying to get your handicap lower what coaching plan are you actually um, following? And please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty much it. So thanks very much. And I'll see you on Sunday.